Today, we're looking at more genius LEGO building techniques. These are some of the most clever and creative methods, and they may just blow your mind. Be sure to check the description to watch previous episodes in this series after this video, and since last episode reached 5,000 likes, let's aim for 6,000 likes for the continuation of this series. All right, let's get right into it. This one exploits the central smooth column pieces to their maximum potential. It's very creative. By adding this 1x4 brick contraption and placing the column in the middle, you can choose which direction you want these studs to face. This particular model does this three separate times, but depending on the height of your central column, you may be able to do this more or less times. It's a great way to alternate stud direction in your LEGO creation, so try it out. The end result of this next technique is quite satisfying. I'm a big fan of the design that appears between these two plates. Basically, you take these two LEGO plates and attach one by one cheese slope pieces to them. Then, by inserting the ends of each plate into a Technic pinhole of a Technic brick, not only does a pattern emerge in the middle, but also the ability to build on four sides of the newly formed brick. This next LEGO technique uses some unique pieces that we don't see used very often. More specifically, the offset 1x4 plate. There's actually two of them, and they're able to be joined together by a T-rod piece. Now, by using this specific combination here, you can reverse the stud direction, and basically now you can create a brick with both studs on top and bottom of this newly formed brick. Very cool. This next building technique creates a 2x2 external stud cube. This technique takes advantage of the power of four 1x1 bricks with external studs and attaches six 2x2 plates to every face of the cube. And well, the result? Well, you can create a fun makeshift LEGO die that you can build on top of all sides. It's really useful if you're trying to make a custom LEGO board game or if you just need more LEGO game dice. Now, for this next one, you're definitely going to need your hands. Oh wait, well, minifigure hands, that is. A lot of them. You're not a true LEGO king or queen until you have a rug made up of individual LEGO hands, right? Y yeah, maybe not, actually. That sounds pretty creepy. I have a feeling that LEGO would not necessarily want you to do this next technique, but it's possible. You can take a 1x2 LEGO brick and insert two 1x1 clip pieces. By placing them on the underside of the 1x2 brick, you can actually stick them on either sides of the bottom tube in which they're able to get wedged in there. From that point, you now have three different access points to build on from this brick, the top and bottom of the clip pieces, and then also the top of the 1x2 brick. However, just a fair warning here, this may cause a bit of bending or damage to the bricks that you insert. This next building technique is quite fun because it uses some pieces that you don't normally see, especially in different building techniques. So the pieces here that we're using are the hinge plates, the one by two plates. Now obviously you have two different sides and they're able to hook together, the prongs kind of slide together. However, if you flip one upside down and then connect them, well now all of a sudden not only do you have a bendable joint, but you can also build on either side because you've basically inverted one of the sides. From that point, you can now attach bricks on the top or bottom of this hinge joint that you just created. Here's a very unconventional and extremely unique way to achieve studs on the side of a build. By taking a look at the diagram on screen right now, you can see all the bricks that go into this specific contraption. In the end, you basically have this small brick section that you can take in and out because it doesn't actually hook in there. So it has a bit of mobility, but also allows you to build on the side of your build. Here's an interesting one. Did you know that you can slide joystick levers between two LEGO studs whenever they're attached onto a brick or a plate? Well, yes, you can. And if you look at this image here, it gives you kind of a representation, an illustration per se of what you can do. So as you can clearly see, this is possible and it fits very snugly. Here you can see that you can also use these joystick levers to basically levitate certain parts of your build. You can see that the central 2x4 plate with studs on top is perfectly in balance without touching any other LEGO piece other than the joystick levers which are propping it up. Personally, I think this is a very underrated LEGO technique, so try it out with your own bricks, because I never hear people talk about this one. Another odd but genius LEGO building technique 
is all about Lego hands. Because if you detach a minifigure hand from the torso, you can use that piece and it's actually very versatile. For example, you can use LEGO minifigure hands to flip the stud direction of your creation when you're building, and each side of a minifigure hand piece can basically attach to the underside of a LEGO brick, and that's how you're able to kind of reverse the direction of studs. If you can find a way to seamlessly integrate this building technique into your creation, that would be an amazing accomplishment. You see, the design of this technique is a bit more challenging to ensure that it doesn't look weird in your build. I mean, you'd literally be using minifigure hands, so hopefully you don't mind having a few minifigures without hands in your collection. Did you know that you can use these white one by one round pin pieces to stack bricks in unique combinations? Here you can see that you can stack all of these bricks together and now you have a very interesting final product. And this can really be done with a ton of different Lego elements. This is actually a technique that was used in the police station modular set. So an official Lego set. This is where I found it. It's, you can see it along the side paneling for the wall in the front of the building. Here's a really creative way to create a staircase for your house, office building, or warehouse, or whatever type of LEGO creation you're trying to build. Now, in order to build these stairs, you're actually going to build sideways. And as you can see, you're going to use these jumper plates on the side of the wall of the building in order to attach on those stairs that you just created. In principle, it's a very simple design, but you also need to really think outside of the box to come up with this idea. I especially like that the final product of these stairs makes it so they're kind of just floating in midair, and they don't have a bunch of supports connecting them to the ground. Did you know that you can make the entire alphabet on a 2x2 two two stud scale? Well, by using some pieces from LEGO Dots or other LEGO sets, you can use tiles to actually create the entire alphabet, every single letter. So with this, you could spell your name or make a brick calendar. It's really up to you. I especially like this technique because of all the customizability with it. You can use these letters for basically anything if you want to spell something out whenever you're building your LEGO city or anything along those lines. And you can also kind of customize some of the letters to your liking. And if you don't have a specific tile piece, you could always replace it with something similar and get a similar result. All right, well, what about a LEGO toilet? If you're designing a house, shopping mall, or office, well, it makes sense to add one or a few. And there are actually a lot of creative designs by many talented builders that have been shared online. These are a couple of my favorites, but there are many, many more. I really like the obscure pieces that are used to create some of these. They don't just use the standard bricks, but let's be honest, this is kind of a difficult challenge to build. Not to mention that you can actually make a Lego minifigure sit on the toilet by detaching its legs and positioning them like this. Do with that as you will. Here's an interesting one. You can use a Lego ring piece from Lego Lord of the Rings, and you can attach bricks or studs on both sides, creating an extremely versatile connection that will most certainly help produce some creative structures while you're building. This small contraption, for example, has a spyglass attached on the bottom, and on the top actually has an inverted stud. If you want to see more genius LEGO building techniques, click the video on screen right now and subscribe to my channel with notifications on for more LEGO content.